hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i transformed this entrance table into a sideboard so this design is like a double table wherein which one piece is placed underneath the other piece so this is how it look when they are placed side by side so what i did was to take the smaller piece from underneath the higher piece and place them beside each other so now I'm going to update the table by creating one large unit to give it a modern look. So what I did was to cut the higher piece of table in half. Then I took the top from the smaller piece and screwed it in the middle of the higher piece to make the unit much wider. After which I just screwed plywood to the front to strengthen the unit. After sanding down the unit, I'm now applying the stain. As you can see, the two seams at the top are showing where I joined the unit. But by the time I'm finished, you won't be able to see those seams because I'm applying a black stain and I'm going to place a piece of tinted glass on top. The plywood is a bit rough, but that won't be much of a problem because I'll be using some strips to create some designs on the front. I'm just staining the ply to create a background for the strips. These are some of the strips that I'll be using to create the design at the front. They will be placed on the plywood. I'm spraying them with clear varnish. So it's been two days now after I did the spraying. So I'm just going to show you now how I create the design on the front. So to get the equal measurement between the strips, I'm using a 2 inch spacer to space the strips. I'm just showing you the design now on camera. The unit is laying on its back on the floor. So I'm just showing you the design on camera. I'm going to attach them off camera. So you won't be able to see when I'm attaching them. I'm going to get help. So I'm going to place it back on its leg. And I'll ask somebody to hold them at the front and I'll go behind and staple each of them. So this was when I was explaining to my partner how we are going to attach them. I'll be doing a lot of measurement around the box because the stapling has to be precise. If I miss one of the staples, the plywood will chip out at the front. This part was one of the most tedious part of the job. I missed about three staples and chipped out the plywood at the front, but I was able to fix it. I'll show you. This is how it turns out after the board strips are on. Now I'm going to add some of these metal strips so I'll be able to cover the areas that are chipped out at the front. These are some gold adhesive metal strips and I'm using a metal cutter to cut them.
There you have it guys this is the final look i can add some more metal strips if i want but for now i'll just leave it like this so now i'm going to decorate the unit if you like the video so far guys remember to leave a thumbs up continue to watch the end so that you'll see it look after it has been fully decorated and bye guys i'll see you in the next one Signs, you're looking like a one-way, gotta make the right.